I'm Max and welcome back to part 2 of my super strong DIY CNC build. Now last time I finished the Z axis and today I'm going to construct the X axis and the fixed gantry. I have all the material here to build the fixed gantry. Now last time I scribed and marked all the holes by hand, but it occurred to me that I already own a CNC that can do all that work for me. So I went online and ordered these center drills. They were insanely cheap and it's pretty obvious why. Some of them are in such a bad shape that you can probably never use them. Like this one. But I'll still pick the best one, chuck it up in the mill and hope for the best. I already have the stock material mounted and the spindle zeroed out. Only thing left to do is to hit start and wait. Since that worked pretty okay, I went ahead and marked up the side with the motor mount as well. And since the next step is pretty repetitive drilling and tapping, you are probably going to see a short montage now. Since I built the Z-axis before I actually finished my plans, I still needed to drill the mounting holes for the bearing blocks and the ball screw nut. Now originally I was going to use these screws. The conical shape of the head will guarantee that they will self-center on those holes, but that is only good if you can drill very precise holes. And since I can't do that, I decided to build everything adjustable so I can dial it in later. So in order to use this kind of screw, I countersunk the tops using a woodworking drill to create a flat bottom recess. This actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. After all, I'm just learning here as well. Last thing to do is to connect the X axis to the gantry. I have it sitting on two spacer blocks to get the height just right and after some adjusting I clamped everything tightly. Now I already drilled the holes in the sides, so I can use them as a template to look at the thread positions in the X axis. Sadly, my drill press is not tall enough, so I have to be very careful drilling this by hand. Finally, assembly. Now there are two things I'd like to mention. First of all, I goofed and switched the sides around, so now the motor is going to be on the right side of the CNC. No big deal. And second, I'm not calibrating anything right now, since I have to take everything apart again for painting anyway. And that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it and want to keep updated, make sure to subscribe. Have a great day.